So you just brought a brand new Tacoma and you're wondering, what do all the buttons do? What do all the switches mean? That's what I'm gonna cover in this quick video. So looking at the buttons and switches on this truck, we're going to start from the left-hand side and move over to the right-hand side. So first we have the door, which has pretty standard switches here. So we have our window lock button here. So that'll lock all the windows, prevent them from rolling down, except for the driver's side window. Uh, we have all our switches for the windows. Uh, this truck has four windows, so we have different switches for all the windows up and down. We have our lock and unlock, or unlock and lock buttons for the doors. And we have a selector here for the left and right mirrors to make adjustments. So if you push down on one side, like the right side, uh, and then you use this control switch here that will adjust the angles of the mirrors. Moving over to the inside, to the left of the steering wheel, we have a bunch of different buttons here. Uh, in the top row on the left, we have an, a headlight leveling adjuster. So if you have something heavy in the truck bed, it's going to cause the front end of the truck to pitch up, which can blind other drivers on the road. So you can use this switch to change the angle of the headlights. To the right of that, we have the brightness controller for the instrument cluster, uh, the dashboard, all the lights inside the cabin. Uh, just press this and it will cycle through all the different brightness options that you have. Below that, we have our automatic high beams. As you can see, it's on right now because of the green indicator light. So you can just turn that on and off. Uh, so th this will automatically turn on and off the high beams uh, depending on whether or not cars are in front of you. To the right of that, we have our track control off switch. To the right of that, we have our uh, controller for the power outlets in the in the bed and there's also a power outlet inside the truck on this model so I'm assuming this also controls that. We have a power tailgate uh, button here so click this the power tailgate will go down press it again and it will come back up. On this TRD off-road we have auxiliary switches so if you have off-road lights or anything else that requires a power source you don't need to drill into the dashboard to add your own buttons you can just press these on and off after you wire your accessories to it. This button will always be empty. Down here we have our uh, bed light. Turn that on and off or have it come on when the door opens. To the right of that, this is blank on this truck, but this would be your controls if you have um, power running boards. So that, that button would be there if you have powered running boards. Moving on to the steering wheel. We have some nice changes here. Uh, if you've driven a third generation Tacoma, you know that it can be confusing using the volume switch and the uh, button to skip the song. They're kind of flip-flop from what you would typically expect. So we have some changes here which are a little bit easier to use. So for our media controls, that's going to be this right here on the left side is the volume up and down. We have our voice commands. I'm going to go over to the other side because this is where you continue your media controls. This is where you skip the songs. Uh, so if you have a song playing, you want to skip it, you press that. If you want to go back, you do that. Um, and then you can also change your mode for the media system. So you, you may immediately think that these buttons up here are to skip the songs, but that's not true. Uh, it's this whole bottom row across the whole steering wheel. Those are your media controls. So back over the left side up here, this is going to control the dashboard, the digital dashboard display. You have left and right arrows, up and down, and then push in for OK. So that's pretty easy to use. Um, and then keeping with that, right above that, we have our back arrow. To the right of that, we have our uh, button to answer phone calls and end phone calls. That's everything on the left side. Let's move over to the right side. This can be a little bit confusing, especially if you want to use cruise control. So I'm going to explain this. Uh, we have our button here to turn cruise control on and off. And then below that, we have a switch which you can press the top of it or you can press the bottom of it. Now this switches between adaptive cruise control and normal cruise control. So pressing that at the top switches between those modes and you'll see that update on the dashboard when you make that change. Below that, you control your following distance. So there's four different following distances for the cruise control. You can cycle through that by pressing the bottom of this button. On the top here, you have your lane departure alert and lane tracing assist. 
So when cruise control is off, this acts as lane departure alert, so it'll let you know when you're going out of the lane and it will nudge you back into the lane. When this is turned on while cruise control, while, while dynamic cruise control is active, it will keep you inside the lane, almost like a self-driving car. So you turn that on and off here, and remember that has two different functions depending on whether you're not whether or not you're in cruise control or not in cruise control. Below that, this is another cruise control feature here. Uh, push up to resume your cruise control, or what if you're already uh, at speed, the cruise control is already going, you press up to increase your speed, you press down to decrease your speed. If cruise control is active, you press cancel, and this will stop the cruise control. This doesn't turn the cruise control system off all the way, this just stops it temporarily from controlling the truck, but it will, so it will save your speed there. If you want to turn off cruise control completely, you'll press this button again. Now that's everything on the steering wheel, so let's move to the center area here, right below the multimedia display. You have your volume control here, volume dial. Uh, so turn that left and right to adjust the volume, or press it in to turn the media on and off. Oh, also, on the right side of the steering wheel, some models will have this trailer brake controller. Uh, so this is where you'll control that, to the right side of the steering wheel. Also, I didn't go over the turn signals and uh, windshield, um, windshield wipers. Those are just standard, uh, just like you'd see on any other vehicle. Okay, moving back to here, we have our heated steering wheel. Just press that to turn it on and off. Uh, we have our dual zone automatic climate control. Again, this could be different uh, depending on your model. Some don't have the dual zone uh, climate controls, so it could be a little bit different. We have our heated seats with three different intensity levels, and you have that on both sides for the driver and passenger. Below that, you have ventilated seats, again, with three levels for the driver and passenger. More cruise control, you have this to turn the fans off. You have this to cycle through your uh, climate control modes. Here you can recirculate the air through the cabin. Here you can adjust the fan speed. This is the front defrosters, this is the rear defrosters, and this is your air conditioning AC. To the right of that you have your hazard lights. Moving down here towards the gear shifter, you have your electronic parking brake, and then you have your brake hold button. So turning this on will allow you to take your foot off the brake while you're in traffic. Uh, let's say you're, if you're at a stoplight, you can take your foot off the brake to rest your leg and the truck won't move forward. It'll hold, that in the, it'll hold the truck in the same position until you hit the gas pedal and then you'll start going again. Below that we have our multi-terrain select and selectors for four-wheel drive, uh, we have four low, four high, and uh, two high. So obviously you'll be in two high most of the time. And to use this, you push in on the side here, and then you twist the dial, and that is how you choose your modes. Um, and then you have different modes here. Uh, this will definitely vary depending on what model you have. I have a TRD off-road uh, with premium package. So we have a tow haul mode, which you just push in to control that. You have uh, this drive mode selector right here, and you have multi-train select on the right, that button, and then on the bottom you have downhill assist control and crawl control. You can also turn this knob to go into eco mode, normal mode, and sport mode. Down here, that is your trailer guide backup switch. So that is the button you press there, just click that, and that goes into um, that mode. To the right of that you have your camera views, so this instantly pops up the camera views on the truck, all sorts of different views. And back down here you have your locking rear differential, so just press that to lock the differential. To the right of that you would have your sway bar disconnect mechanism, uh, so that's pretty much the only thing we don't have in this truck unfortunately. And then to the right of that certain models will have uh, a controller for your auto start stop so when you come to a stop the engine will shut off uh, you can toggle that there or if you have a manual you will have uh, an option to start the truck without using the clutch up here on the digital rear view mirror we have three different buttons for garages to manage your garages and we have some settings here that you could cycle through with this button and then 
uh, arrows here that you can use to change the settings that you're looking at. Up above that we have these two lights, overhead lights you can press. We have an SOS button. We have the control for the interior lights to either have it come on when the doors are open, have it off, or turn them all on. We have the control for the rear window in the back. We have the open and close for the moonroof, and then ventilation up and down for the moonroof. So that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, if there was something that I missed, uh, I don't think I missed anything, but if there was, uh, just let me know and I can be sure to answer any questions you have in the comments.